Hi, I'm Brianna Nixon, and welcome to the latest edition of the Hornet Spotlight right here on DSUHornets.com. This week's feature is former DSU standout and current women's basketball assistant coach, Donnell Thomas. Better known as D-Train, being back at his old stomping grounds is such a wonderful feeling for Coach Thomas. When head coach and former Lady Hornet Barbara Burgess offered him the chance to come back, he jumped at the opportunity. To be honest with you, when I got the call, um, I was telling coach, we talked about campus life and all that. I said, I don't really come out here but until homecoming, so I don't see everything that I've seen out here. So when I got out here and took, just take a walk around, it was just, you know, nostalgic, if you will, just to bring back memories, Conwell life, <laughs> playing in here. Um, so yes, it's, I mean, I'm still, I'm still feeling it as I walk around, walking over here for the interview and I'm just walking past everything and seeing everything. It's like, wow, this used to be the old stomping grounds. Still is Tom McGrath, I'm still here working, back here working, so. Listed at six foot nine, Thomas played for DSU from 1989 to 1993. During that time, he led the Hornets to two MEAC tournament championship games, in addition to serving as team captain twice. Thomas remembers his time in the Hornet uniform as the best part of his life. My father dropped me off on right in front of Conwell and spent them tires and left. And I had to learn campus life fast, but it was good because there was Coach Jones at the time, Jeff Jones, who brought in, wow, about eight or nine of us. And you had saw nothing but a bunch of six foot nine, six eight guys walking around campus and getting to know those guys and getting to know those guys before we touched the floor made it made our experience here awesome. After his DSU career, Thomas had a brief stint with the world renowned Harlem Globetrotters, followed by spending a few seasons overseas as a professional. Uh, just before I graduated, a friend of mine called me and said, hey, go over to the local Boys and Girls Club. So I did that and got a job just before we graduated. So that was something I was uh, happy about. But it was an itch to play ball because I was still a young guy, still wanted to play. Um, I played summer leagues here and there, and I got a phone call saying, hey, won't you like, um, like to play for the Harlem Globetrotters? I said, you play for the Harlem Globetrotters? They said, in the organization. Didn't know what that meant at first until I got there and I played with um, the team that plays against them all the time, that runs around, all that, that see them running around. But I um, had, had some time with them, and then I had an opportunity to go overseas over in, uh, in Lima, Peru. I had an opportunity to play against, um, play with professionals that were 17 to 18 years old. That was new to me too. Um, had an opportunity to go play over there and have some fun. I learned a lot about the world that we over here at Shelter, all we see is on CNN or something like that. And, um, had an opportunity to gain, gain a much uh, better respect for what we have over here. So that's what I try to do when I got back here, when my playing career was done, just to coach and uh, work with young people and really show them or let them know what it's about out here. It's not easy. With all the experiences he's gained as a player and now as a coach, Thomas teaches the game of life through basketball, which is the ultimate level of gratification. So it doesn't matter if I'm coaching men. Now I'm coaching women now. Um, just, 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 just apply the game of life. Because to be honest with you, you, know, you can break that down on simple things. You come to practice late, what happens? It's a consequence. You go to work late, what happens? It's a consequence. Nine times out of ten, when you go to classes here, you show up late. It's a consequence. You don't get all the work you need or whatever it is. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm applying everyday life, teaching them with, this, with the round ball. And that'll do it for D-Trend. Be sure to check out the next edition of the Hornet Spotlight right here on DSUHornets.com. I'm Brianna Nixon, signing off. And remember, go big, go bold, go Hornets.